Hi Audacious, my name is Steph, I'm part of the Manchester Central uh, team and if you haven't done so already make sure you grab yourself a drink, uh, go grab yourself a brew, if you need to hit pause then do so. Um, it's my honour to share with you today some scripture that we can unpack for a few moments together and then um, go about our days really putting this into action. And I'm going to share with you Luke 5 verse 18 to 19. So it says, some men came carrying a paralysed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles in the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus. It actually then goes on to say how Jesus um, forgave this paralysed man on the mat, forgave him of his sins and then this man was healed and he got up and he walked and he praised his way out of there and walked down the street celebrating with everyone. And this story of Jesus, one of the many miracles of Jesus, is actually talked about in several Gospels. And in the Gospel of Mark, it actually talks about there being four people. There were four men that took their friend and lowered him into the presence of Jesus. And I don't know about you if you ever looked at the meaning of numbers or the significance of some numbers in the Bible, but when I looked at the Gospel of Mark and saw that it was four, I thought there's no accident that it's mentioned the number four. So I've had a little Google and I've seen that it, um, the number four in the Bible speaks of creation. And I was like, wow, I didn't realise that a number could speak of creation. But I suppose those, those people, those friends of that man, they created that moment for, for their friend when that man wasn't able to, to get up and go to Jesus himself and get that miracle that he needed. His friends saw the need and they did it. They created that moment. I'm gonna take a, a minute or two just to share with you a part of my story from the last few years. So I know for many of us, it's been a challenging few years and maybe for, maybe for you, it's been a break, it's been a relief, it's been a time of gathering and going again but for me it's um it's been a challenging time and I think even without Covid without that global pandemic hitting it would have been a challenge and it would have been a hard few years which it has been and I want to encourage you that in those moments where I felt like I couldn't I couldn't get out of bed and I couldn't go to church and I couldn't even go into the building because it was too hard that my friends were there for me. I had these four people around me, encouraging me, um, creating those moments, creating those opportunities for me to be in the presence of God so that I could receive my miracle and that I could receive that relief and that joy that I'm now able to have in the presence of God because my friends, they fought the fight for me. That when it was hard, when it, you know, when they thought there was no end to it, they kept going and they fought for me. I can't imagine what it must have been like for the four friends, um, you know, tearing that roof apart, the, the cuts, the sores on their hands, the hard work, the sweat that it would have taken. But then seeing their friend get up and walk out and praise down the street, what a moment. I feel like that's one of those moments that you look back and you think, worth it. It was so, so worth it. And I want to encourage you today, whether you are the person who is paralysed right now and you're not able to do things for yourself and you're not able to get up and walk for yourself, I want to encourage you that that time is going to come to an end. You will have your miracle moment. You will have those people around you that will fight for you, that they will um, create those moments for you to have your miracle. And if you are one of those uh, people who is like myself now, able to go out and fight and get alongside people, then let's do it. Let's go and create those miracle moments and let's have that celebration. Church, can't wait to see you again soon. Love you all. Ciao.